The Bitcoin MVRV has historically been one of the most accurate tools for identifying major peaks and bottoms in every BTC cycle. And now when we isolate specific movements within this data, it's signaling to us that Bitcoin could be about to rally higher than we thought was possible. But first we'll look into the current MVRV data for Bitcoin and we're better to start than the MVRV Z score chart we have here on BitcoinMagazinePro.com. Now first and foremost before we dive into what this data is actually showing us and how it's actually calculated, we'll look at the underlying basis for this metric which is the realized price. Now a lot of you may be aware what this is but for anyone that isn't, the real realized price is the average accumulation or cost basis for all BTC in the network. So essentially using on-chain data that's available to us on the Bitcoin blockchain, we can aggregate every single transaction, look at the price that that transfer happened, and basically combine every single one of those to look at the average transferred price of Bitcoin or the realized price. Now currently as Bitcoin, as I film this, is above $105,000 and the realized price is currently around $46,000, $47,000, what we can do is we just go back to the MVRV Z score here and add on this raw MVRV value, we can look at just the standard data point which is dividing the price by this realized price. And what we can see is currently this sits at around a value of about 2.26. Now the Z-score element in this is just looking at the standardized version of this data. So once we account for the volatility and changing dynamics in the Bitcoin price action, we get this Z-score. If you just scroll down beneath the chart, it'll tell you everything you need to know there. But what we can do is actually isolate different investors within this data. So for example, we can look at just short-term holders and create the short-term holder MVRV. Now this is investors who have recently entered the Bitcoin market and have been holding Bitcoin for 155 days or less. Now what we can do is you just zoom in here. We can see this short-term holder realized price is much closer to the current Bitcoin price action because of course anyone that's been in Bitcoin for just five months or so have probably paid a significantly higher price than those who have been in Bitcoin coin for 10 years or so. So what we can see is the short-term holder price as I film this is currently around $96,000, $97,000. And if we just zoom out, we can see the short-term holder MVRV price action here. Now what we can do is if I just add this on, what we can see is this almost acts as a moving level of support and resistance for the Bitcoin price action. Every time we come down and retest this point during Bitcoin bull cycles, well, not every time, but historically, many times it has acted as a strong level of support. And the same is true for the downside. Once we actually come back and retest this level, retest this level, sorry, during bear cycles, it has historically acted as a moving level of resistance. I got there in the end. What we can see, we just zoom in on the current Bitcoin bull market, is we've had some rather different circumstances. We've actually broken beneath this on multiple occasions and spent consecutive weeks or even months beneath this. However, as we now film this, we have reclaimed this level, and hopefully if we come back down and retest, it'll act as a strong level of support for the Bitcoin price action. Now, one interesting thing to note is on this metric is if I just draw a rough line around here, what we can see is every time Bitcoin reaches this value, this upper value, which is about a level of 1.33, it is historically strongly indicated some topping price action for a local peak within a Bitcoin bull market. What we can see is multiple instances throughout 2016, 2017, before the Bitcoin bull cycle peak, we came to about this 1.33 level before coming back down for a slight retracement until we ultimately peaked significantly higher than this. Now in the 2017, uh, 2020, 2021 cycle, sorry, we had multiple instances of coming to around this level before retracing. And in this cycle, we've already had four instances where price action has come up to this level before we'd had a little bit of a retracement. Now what we can also see is for Bitcoin major cycle peaks throughout the Bitcoin big bull cycles where the price usually tops out for multiple years, this usually occurs at around this 1.66 level. So there's definitely patterns we can observe in this data. Once new market participants get to a certain amount of unrealized gains, this is typically aligned with local or in some instances major cycle peaks of the Bitcoin price action. So a very interesting data point to watch, especially alongside its Z score value, the MVRV Z score for short term holders, which again is just standardizing this data throughout Bitcoin history and again gives very accurate indications of when price action may be topping out or bottoming. But what we can also do as well as looking at the short-term holders, we can look at the long-term holders. So what we can see here is the long-term holder MVRV. Now what we can see is the long-term holders have only paid around $33,500 on average for their Bitcoin, which is obviously significantly lower than short-term holders. But again, this is taking into account every single Bitcoin holder who's been holding for over 155 days. So what we can see is the MVRV value for this is currently around 3.11, indicating that the underlying price 
is 3.11 times higher than the average accumulation or cost basis for these long-term holders. And again, we can standardize this data into a Z-score, which looks incredibly similar to the short-term holder and this the normal MVRV Z-score. Because again, once we standardize this data, there are very clear and obvious times when everyone's at a huge unrealized gain or huge unrealized losses on their positions. And again, this usually gives us some indication of it being a good time to do the opposite, acts as a contrarian to begin taking profit when everyone's in huge profits and begin accumulating, I got there in the end, when everyone's at huge losses. It was a long time in Vegas, I'm still recovering, still recovering. One thing we can do is if we just go to the long-term holder MVRV, we can see that if we just zoom in, this realized price has been increasing by around $40 a day on average. Now, of course, it's changing every single day, but somewhere around $40 a day is the increase in this long-term holder MVRV. Now, what we can do is if we just go to the Bitcoin growth since cycle lows chart here, we can see as I film this, we're about 923 days into this cycle, and the previous two Bitcoin bull markets actually topped out at very similar times, around 160, 170 days into the cycle, which would give us some indication that we have around 140 to 150 days left in this cycle. Now, again, just taking some very rough extrapolations and kind of some rough assumptions, which definitely aren't great when it comes to data analysis, but it is always fun to do this. If we assume 140 to 150 days left in this cycle, we assume that it's increasing by about $40 a day, this long-term hold at realized price. We can give us some indication that by the time the Bitcoin price cycle tops out, this will be at around $40,000. It will increase by around five to six thousand dollars and somewhere around in 140 to 150 days time again if we assume bitcoins following the previous two cycles we should see a cycle peak now what we can do is again just kind of work backwards so if we look at the previous cycle peak well the cycle peak at that moment in time i know it was a double peak cycle but we can see that the long-term holder mvrv reached a value of about 12.58 indicating that as the price action peaked at around $64,000, $65,000, we can see that the long-term holder realized price was only around four dollars or $5,000. So 12 times higher than that is where the price action peaked. But what we can see is in every single cycle, this is actually decreasing. We're seeing diminishing multiples on this MVRV score for long-term holders. So of course, we have to assume that that trend is going to continue. So we may not reach values that we have typically reached in previous cycles. However, I think if we draw a box around here, what we can see is throughout all of Bitcoin's history, this has been a very key level for the long-term holder MVRV. What we can see is here in 2017, we reached this level before a tracing, finding support. Then finally, after we rallied significantly higher, we came back down, found support at this level before ultimately the bear market begun. We can see in 2020, 2021, this level was a key level. We reached it for retracing to the bottom of this point and rallying higher. And then again, even as back as 20, far back as 2014, we reached this level even back here in 2011. So this has been a key level for the Bitcoin MVRV long-term holder ratio. Now this value is somewhere around, if I just drag around here, 8.52 would be the upper bound and then the lower bound somewhere around here, 7.5, maybe seven somewhere around there. So if we were to assume that in this Bitcoin bull market, the MVRV of long-term holders reached a value of around eight, and we were to see the long-term holder realized price reach that $40,000 level, then we could see that the Bitcoin price action may be topping out at around $320,000. Do I think that's likely? Maybe not, but who knows? We'll have to wait and see. One thing that I like to do is rather than just focusing on these normal MVRV Z scores, which are incredibly useful, is actually look at one that's adapting to the changing supply and demand economics and market cycle dynamics throughout Bitcoin. So here, this is the MVRV Z score on a two year rolling basis. So rather than just looking at a blanket all throughout Bitcoin's history, which of course is changing a lot. And if we look at something like the MVRV Z score, a lot of people are looking to us and then saying, you know, we say, we're seeing diminishing peaks maybe we're not going to actually get into this upper red region this cycle if we actually just standardize this data over a two-year rolling period we can see that in the previous cycle it actually gave one of the highest cycle peak values that we've ever seen in bitcoin and the same is true for the downside we still see some great accumulation territory marked out when looking at a two-year rolling basis what we can do is if we just draw something like this so a value of around three for potentially an upper take profit region and somewhere around here a value of around minus one to begin aggressively accumulating bitcoin we can see that this is going to adapt this is going to change so as bitcoin's market cap massively increases the volatility decreases this is going to change to adapt to those changing market conditions and it's still going to work incredibly well so we can see even 
throughout Bitcoin's history on a two-year rolling basis. This has given us some very strong indications that Bitcoin may be getting to overheated conditions, not necessarily directly indicating a major cycle peak. We can see throughout 2016 and 2017, we actually surpassed this level on multiple occasions before we ultimately topped out towards the end of 2017. And again, in this cycle, we've already surpassed this level as Bitcoin first ran to about $73,000, dollars last year. But now we're actually at incredibly healthy levels beneath a value of one, indicating that we still have substantial upside potential remaining for this cycle. So this is something I'm gonna be very closely watching over the coming months to hopefully see Bitcoin rally higher and see some massive unrealized gains in the MVRV Z score two year, giving us some good idea of where Bitcoin could be topping out. But I'll still definitely be keeping an eye on the long-term holder MVRV and MVRV Z score. Again, potentially as some working backwards, rough calculations of potential price targets for Bitcoin. And alongside that, the short-term holder MVRV, which again, if we start to see some confluence, if we see the two year rolling substantially above that level of three, if we see the short-term holder MVRV around this 1.33, 1.3, 1.35, around this region, giving us some indication that we may be at a local peak or if we're even substantially higher to 1.66 or even greater than that, then that'll give us some indication that we're towards a major cycle peak. And of course, the MVRV Z score hopefully will still give us some very strong indications, maybe not as high as it previously has done, but as soon as we get, again, above values of five or six in this level, it'll be a very, very strong indication that this Bitcoin bull market may be topping out. So keep an eye on all of these metrics when it comes to trying to time your accumulation and profit taking for Bitcoin. Also, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. And make sure to check out all the resources we discussed today, as well as the many more that are all available on BitcoinMagazine.com, your number one source for Bitcoin analysis. And let me know in the comments below which of these metrics is your favorite and which one will you be most closely watching for the remainder of this bull cycle. So just to summarize, the Bitcoin market value to realize value or MVRV has historically been one of the most accurate metrics for forecasting major peaks and bottoms in the BTC price action. And we can now isolate the MVRV ratio to short-term and long-term holders to gain better insights into the current mindset and behavior of both the market's most and least experienced market participants. We can also use these metrics to try and predict potential price targets for our current bull cycle, although I wouldn't give too much weight to this, of course, anything can change. And it's much better to react to the data rather than predict, especially when we can use iterations of the data that are trying to better adapt to the changing market dynamics, like we could see with the MVRV Z score two year rolling chart, which I definitely will be closely watching throughout the remainder of this bull cycle. But alongside that, something like the short term holder MVRV, which isn't going to be as influenced by changing market dynamics, increased market cap, reduced volatility, we're always going to see some speculation and some mean reversion when looking at that short term holder metric. So once we see some confluence across multiple of these data points, it really gives some give us some indication, sorry, that Bitcoin is either topping out or potentially towards the tail end of the next bear cycle, potentially bottoming out and in a great accumulation zone. If you like this video, then please visit BitcoinMagazinePro.com where our analysts help you to cut through the noise to make informed data-driven decisions about Bitcoin. With over 150 live charts, personalized indicator alerts, in-depth crypto industry reports, AP access, and more all for a fraction of the standard industry price. And let me know in the comments below and on social media what are your thoughts on using metrics like this. Will you be relying on these or do you prefer other on-chain data points? As I said, let me know. I look forward to reading and replying to them. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.